What's up Stakeheads? Today I'm excited to dive into a brand new feature that we believe will be true game changer in Bloodbound. Introducing Buddy Vision, an update going 5.1 with this feature to allow have the ability to see your teammates at all times, even when they're out of sight or behind walls. This was designed to enhance your awareness of the battlefield because in Bloodbound, teamwork is absolutely crucial. For example, as a slayer, you'll be able to see when a teammate goes down, which can signal the vampires that are lurking nearby. This gives you a critical decision point. Do you rush in to help or retreat and recruit? And for our vampire players, the same applies. If your fellow vampire is in trouble, Buddy Vision lets you decide whether to defend your fallen ally or to capitalize on the opportunity to strike. But that's not all. Players also benefit from seeing ammo box drops around the map, highlighted with a subtle glow to make them easier to spot in our notoriously dark environments. Speaking of darkness, we brighten up our levels slightly to balance the fast-paced gameplay. We realized that while vampires thrive in the shadows, slayers needed a bit more visual clarity to even the odds, especially now that vampires have more agility with their new leaping abilities. In addition to buddy vision, we've also squashed some bugs. EDM bots were overlapping with players during spawning, but that's now been fixed. Plus, you can now spawn bots without needing an opposing teammate if you want to practice with AI. Another tweak in TDM is that you'll now insta-die if you switch characters mid-game which aligns with common practice in other multiplayer games. In Bloodbound, we've also introduced spotlights specifically for Slayers to help highlight farmable objects like ladders, pipes, and ramps. This feature is designed to improve visibility and make it easier for Slayers to navigate the environment by clearly identifying what could be climbed. While vampires don't have climbing abilities yet, we're considering adding that feature later. For now, vampires have the advantage of being able to jump incredibly high, which eliminates the need for climbing. But stay tuned as we're always looking to involve the gameplay. We've also toned down the excessive bloom effects on materials. It was like there were fireflies everywhere, but now that's been cleaned up for a more immersive experience. And lastly, rehosting stability has been improved, so you can now host proper dedicated servers using Steam under Tools. For more detailed documentation, head over to our website at sketchyrealms.com. We're looking forward to seeing you in-game. Don't forget to like and subscribe and join our Discord for scheduled gameplay sessions. Thank you for watching.